Hello friends, my name is Father Leo O'Donovan and I'm very happy to reflect with you on Advent and in particular on Isaiah in Advent. Isaiah is one of the great poets of the Old Testament and certainly the poet of the Advent season. There is a line in his 11th chapter, from the stump of Jesse a sprout shall spring and from his roots a bud shall blossom. This line was taken as early as the second century to refer to David being born of Jesse and from David's line, Mary and Jesus being given us as savior. There are many representations of the image, but in the 11th century in Germany, a figure, special type of figure developed called the tree of Jesse. And in the 12th century in France, beautiful windows were made of the tree of Jesse as it's called formally. The first was in uh, Saint-Denis, just outside Paris, the Royal Chapel, and then again in the cathedral very shortly thereafter at saint lee In the great 12th century cathedral of Chartres, which was uh, perhaps the fourth cathedral built on that site, there are three great lancet windows, windows that are tall, and in this case rounded because they're Romanesque, and the one on the left as you face the west front is called the tree of Jesse. The cathedral was burnt almost to the ground in 1194, but the three great lancets from the West Front, the sculpture of the West Front, and a beautiful window called Notre Dame de la Belle Verrière was also saved. When you go inside, you're startled by how blue the background of the tree of Jesse is. And there's a sleeping figure at the bottom from which a literal tree, it looks more like a vine to a an American, I would say, and from the vine come five other figures, kings, and then Mary at the top, but above her, Jesus. You'll notice that the image is immediately communicative and that the blue in the windows is startlingly effective. It was made with cobalt, as was the blue in the other windows in the West Front, and has seldom ever been matched. Note that at the top of the window, around the figure of the Redeemer, there are seven doves. They are the gifts of the Holy Spirit, and that would be known to the largely illiterate populace who would come chiefly as pilgrims to the cathedral. I hope you'll enjoy looking at the image and perhaps going to Chart to see it in person, or as I have, going off and again, even on retreat. This is Father Leo O'Donovan. It was very good to be with you.